Okay, I am uh, using the same book of uh, Mr. Parmeter, Theory and Practice of Life Contingencies. Well, I have been taking some courses in the University of Michigan, and I have been teaching in Bolivia, South America, for more than 20 years. So therefore, I think I, I am explaining this course with the best I, I, the knowledge, the best knowledge I can have. Um, uh, here we have um, the same table, but we are planning on saying what is the probability that a newborn will live to age three. A newborn will be number of persons uh, with zero age. In other words, if this is a table, the, the newborn will be a million persons. <coughs> And this, this will be the number of persons that are starting. But we are, they're asking us to, if we live uh, to age three. Age three will be living, in other words, person, persons living at age three. And as you can see, this is the number of persons living and this is the age. So at age three, we have the number 997, 255. So at the same time, we have to consider uh, two um, uh, ideas. The idea of probability of living or the idea of probability of dying. This um, letter A will be the probability that this person, a newborn, will live to age three. In other words, this will be the probability that a person that is zero age will live and will be until age three. So the, the number of, of the reference number will be the number of people which are newborns. And and uh, and L, L3 will be the number of people of H3. If we make a comparison of these two numbers, the division of these two numbers will give us the probability that the newborn will live until H3. So re, re, replacing the numbers, we have 997, 2550, divided that by a million will give us the probability that the person, a newborn, will live until uh, age three. And this probability will be comparing uh, the two number of persons. Well, in accordance with my calculator, Okay, will be zero nine nine seven two five five. In other words, if we multiply this by one hundred, we have a, a percentage. A percentage is a relative number. Ninety nine nine ninety nine ninety nine point seventy three percent. This is will be in terms of relative numbers will be the probability will be 99.7.73 percent. This will be the probability that the newborn will live until age three. Using this same table, and now the, mod, the, the, the tables are uh, made by experience uh, going, for example, to a cemetery you go to a cemetery, 
and you make a statistical computation of how many people uh, was uh, born and how many people was dead in uh, age by age. And, and if you summarize these results, you will have a similar table like this. In this case, we're using this table as an example. Now, we are going to see uh, letter B. This will be the result of letter A. For letter B, go to letter B. In letter B, they are asking us, the people, the number of deaths between H1 and H3. This is H1 and this is H3. The number of people in between which are going to be dying will be 680, which will die at age one, and 485 persons uh, dying at age two. So the addition of these two numbers uh, is the, what we are looking for. But we're looking for in any question. And the equation will say us that we know that the, the, the persons, living persons are at L1. In other words, 998, 420. But they will not be living at age L3. In other words, we do not take into consideration L3 because we are adding L1 and L2. A3 will not be considered because they, they, they want to know in the question the, the living between these two ages. The difference in numbers will be 1,000. 165 persons which will be um, dying between age 1 and age 3. And, and in probabilities we can say that the probability will be. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, now we are going to um, determine what the probability is of, of dying. They're not the probability of living but the probability of dying. We have here uh, two numbers. We have here this number corresponds to HX, which I am writing down with the red, and the and this this other, this other number. If we if we look for the probability of this million persons, we will have to write it down that this is the probability of dying dying considering people at age newborns at age zero and uh, uh, dying uh, between the next two years in this case the, the um, denominator will be the people which is alive at age zero in other words the newborns because we are considering the newborns. But the numerator will be the people which will be live at age zero, but which is not live at age three. That means they are going to be, they are living at age zero, but not living at age three, because they are asking me only two ages. In other words, from here to here. So therefore, I am considering uh, people which will be a million persons at age zero and at age three, not considering 997, 255 from a total of a million persons. This is one probability which we, we are going to take into account. But the next one will be another probability which we can also argue in this case will be if we consider H1, if at H1, which will be number one, and uh, the next, uh, in, in the next two years, Okay, will be people which are live, living at age one, but they are not living at age three. But the denominator will be 
people living at age one. At age one, we have 998, 420 persons. And at age three, we have 900. 997, 255. So the difference will be a, a percentage in this case, which is not going to be the same as the percentage in the second case. Okay, now we're going to make the computations. The probability in this case is zero period zero zero two seventy five. Less than one percent. It's a zero two percent if we multiply this by one hundred. And uh, considering age of the age of zero uh, uh, according to the number of people on the boards. In it, in this another case we have Zero point zero zero one one seven. Okay, these are the considerations for the the number of people who will die between this age and this another age. Now, with another color, I'm going to make an explanation. No, el azul. El azul. Thank you, gracias. With uh, uh, we we, also, we can also see these numbers as number of deaths. If I say L0 and L3, uh, we can uh, make an addition of these numbers. Deaths at age zero plus deaths at age one and deaths at age two. In these three numbers will be the, the same as the difference between L0 and L3. Uh, in, a, in a moment, we're going to make the replacement. And in this case, we have in the, uh, in the equation, which will, will be deaths at age one and deaths at age two, from a total number of people living at age one. So, uh, if we replace the numbers, we're going to have, in, the, in my calculator, we'll have um, 1,580 plus 680 plus 485. In this case, I will have 2,000. Two thousand seven hundred and forty-five divided by a million, and will give us zero point zero zero two seventy-five. It's easy to see this because um, only uh, if you divide in a million, you have to uh, not consider the six zeros. So we, it is the correct answer is this. Now, if we w you want to see the probability of people. Uh, which is living at age one, you have to consider only 680 plus 485 divided in the number of persons which are one age. And this will give us a result or 0 0.00117. But we can make a proof in the calculator also. Mm. 
Yes, exactly. This is the same answer. I have proved with my calculator. So, um, I would like to tell you that uh, these are uh, courses which are explaining in, in YouTube in order to arrive to as many people as, as, uh, as possible. If you give me a like, I will be glad to, to consider next, question, next lessons also. And in this case, in, in, in even that, I will offer a course of a complete uh, course of actuarial mathematics with examination, proofs, um, exercises, and uh, any doubts that you can ask me, and I will be able and glad to answer to you. Uh, well, uh, well, thank you very much uh, at this moment.